Good afternoon and welcome. There's no place like your home. Today I want to show you some of the things that I've come up with that are takeoffs on some expensive decorations that I've seen at some of the higher end stores. So if you recall, this channel really is about uh, saving as much money as possible, seeing something that you like and knowing that you can duplicate that on some level and have just as many compliments and enjoyment for yourself as well with your decorations. Now I have been collecting spray paint over the years so to, to go out and just buy one investment of this I couldn't have done. So if I liked a color I've used it and I still have plenty of this that will last a long time. Also I want to tell you that when I spray paint I'm always outdoors in a further back area where the wind is really moving much better and then I just uh, always have a pair of plastic gloves on my hands if I'm having to hold something so to avoid having spray paint all over my skin so just a just an idea well we're in the throes of summer right now it's a hot July day but I'm already kind of looking ahead to the fall season and I love Halloween and I love everything that comes along with it especially the decorations so I saw another post that a woman wanted to get some containers for herself but she was seeing how expensive they were for her potted flowers so I'm thinking just make sure that you know when you do get a bush or a, a large uh, potted plant hang on to those because they definitely are reusable and so what I have done with these two black uh, planters is I've used some painters tape and I'm going to just have a little bit of fun this afternoon and go ahead and spray them with some very festive Halloween colors. So uh, if you've seen those just gorgeous designs that they do either with real pumpkins or ceramic pumpkins, the, the stripes, the checks, it's just a gorgeous combination. So I found these to use. I'm going to come up with something for myself and somewhere along the line I'll show you what I've done with those. But again, I'm not paying really for anything. Uh, I do keep a supply on hand of all my tools and tapes and everything. So I just had my planters tape and again recycling, reusing these planters uh, for something. Not sure what yet. So another thing too is I was short a basket for my window for my flowers. So I went down to the Dollar Tree and found uh, these little rectangular uh, containers and I think it just is a perfect size for a window box. Now with these I have to double them up because they're pretty flimsy but I don't have too heavy of plantings in here so I think that will work out. And then what I'm going to do, I, I already tried it. I'm going to thread a bungee cord through here so I can anchor them off of the window and uh, just I'm going to spray paint you know the, them black and I'll have a new window box for a dollar twenty-five well a little over two dollars for the two of them already had my bungee cords and then I'm just transplanting some flowers that have just gotten too big for their own containers so Again, you know, you can do a lot with things. Don't limit yourself to thinking that something is only for one thing because they're not. I think this looks like a little planter. And then I'll just uh, drill some holes in the bottom for drainage. So there you have another idea that's pennies on the dollar. Now, I was at the thrift store as well and found these charger plates. And there were six of them. Uh, candy apple red, just absolutely stunning for, for two dollars, a dollar ninety nine. So I got them all cleaned up, and I'll put them away until the winter Christmas season, uh, you know, winter holiday season. And I have six of them, so I'm looking at possibly adding those into my window boxes with some greens. I'm now growing holly, so I hope I get some berries. And or use them, you know, elsewhere. But again, these are charger plates, so think outside the box with what you can do with so many things for pennies on the dollar. And 
I'll show you the one, I actually have two of these, and they are square, and I had gotten these at the, actually at a grocery store that was going out of business. They were 39 cents a piece, and what I did was just hot glue some twine on the back so I can have a wall mount, and what I'll do is then put this candle lid, which I uh, have two, two of these and two lids, and I'll mount that on there with some hot glue or some uh, E6000, I think is the better glue. And there I have for me just a fun and really funky looking uh, accessory, a wall decoration. You could do so many things with these. You could mod podge them, you could put you know, jewels on them, or if you found a different color of these, you know, you could do a beach theme, anything like that. But again, we're looking at not spending hardly any money in order to enhance your home. So, as always, thank you. I'll show you what I've come up with with these couple of projects when they're finished. And I still have another one yet to show you. Again, not spending much money. So, always thank you for your time. There's no place like your home. Don't be afraid to be creative. Don't be afraid to take chances and make mistakes. Some of my best things have been a mistake, and I love them. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.